Do you really need a Fathead, Cloudlifter or any other inline preamp? Are you thinking of getting a cloud lifter, but you're not sure if you really need it? Most common questions I get is why aren't you using something like a cloud lifter? Hey guys, wanted to go ahead and just do a really quick video and basically explain a concept here. But basically what I want to talk about is people always ask like, will this dynamic microphone like the Shure SM7B, is it going to work with that interface? Is it going to work with that interface? Blah, blah, blah. And I just want to make uh, a few pointers. And then when you understand this, then you will understand that that question is actually irrelevant today. Um, okay, so for context, I'm using a Focusrite Solo third gen, pretty old school interface, uh, but not that old, right? And you can get this for about 99 bucks. I'm doing no, I'm not getting, raising the post at all. This is literally how it sounds with a Shure SM7B. And as you can see, it's plenty loud enough, right? Um, but that's not my point. Okay, I wanna make basically four different points here and then it will make sense. Okay, point number one, you can use any interface pretty much as long as you know the EIN is not that bad, but if you're not recording live, okay, so let's say hypothetically right now, okay, right now this is low, right, low volume. I mean, right now it's l loud enough, but I'm gonna intentionally, okay, I'm gonna intentionally drop, drop it down, right, just on the gain. I'm gonna drop the gain down just so I can nerf it, right, just because I'm gonna prove a point, okay? So right now <clears throat> we are, we are nerfed, okay? We are very much nerfed. But as you can see, you can hear me just fine. Well, why is that the case? Because all you need to do is increase in post, increase in post, right? So if you increase your audio in post, then it's not an issue if you are not going live. But what if you go live? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that right now. All right, so I am intentionally, I wanna show you something here, right? So it's very loud right now, but I'm gonna dip it down. All you need to do if you are live, and now I'm on OBS Live, as you can see, normally it would be not that loud, right? This is the Shure SM7B with the focus right. Um, and again, I nerfed it. I actually dropped the gain a little bit just to show something here. But here, as you can see, it's normally not that loud. Well, all you need to do is go to gain, digital gain. If you're live, if you're going on OBS, all you need to do is just go to digital gain and add digital gain. And as you can see, it's plenty loud enough. Okay, so I'm gonna make my third and fourth point, which is important about the Shure SM7B. And as you can see, again, I'm on the Focusrite Solo third gen with an SM7B. Okay, so my third point is what matters and helps actually the most is actually your microphone, uh, the way it's situated, because that gives you the best volume. Don't do this, because that is not good. Do this and speak a little bit louder and just come closer. And as you can see, when you look on that, that's plenty loud enough. I am not even, I'm not increasing this in post. This is plenty loud enough. That's my third point. My third point is don't speak quietly and speak far away. Then yeah, you're probably gonna need something because that's not good enough. What you need to do is bring it closer, speak a little bit louder and you're good to go. Okay, point number four, okay, point number four. This is the Focusrite Solo, third gen, okay. According to the, sp the specs, it is it has a gain range of 56 decibels. However, according to Julian Krauss, uh, that's not the true gain. Input level, subtract the gain range, and this gives you the lineup level. Here's an example. The 2i2 has a maximum input level of 9 dBU and a gain range of 56 dB. The true gain is you get the gain range of 56 decibels and you subtract that by maximum input which would be 12 and a half decibels, which is 44 decibels. What does this tell you? This tells you something important. It doesn't fucking matter, okay? Right now, I am not increasing this in post. This is plenty loud enough. You see this here? All I did, I'm like, I'm, this is plenty loud enough for a Shure SM7B. What does that tell you? If it's plenty loud enough for a Shure SM7B, it's plenty loud enough for any freaking dynamic microphone out there. All you need to do is just get this interface or something better than this interface and you are good to go, right? So in other words, our interfaces have gotten so good, it doesn't freaking matter. Like I said, this has a gain range of 56 decibels. It has a max input of 12 and a half decibels. It is a 44 decibel differential, according to Julian Krauss, which means it doesn't matter. It's good enough. In other words, look, I'm practically clipping on this thing, okay? It's loud enough with the Shure SM7B with a Focusrite Solo third gen, okay? In other words, technology has gotten so good to the point it doesn't matter. Number four 
just get something as good or better than the Focusrite Solo 3rd Gen and you are good to go.